Hello, my name is Stuart Esparza. I'm a realtor here in Connecticut, and today we're gonna be exploring living in Stratford, Connecticut. I actually live here. I love Stratford, Connecticut, so let's get right into it. So right now we're in one of the main beaches in Stratford, Connecticut. This is called Short Beach. So if you're a resident of Stratford, Connecticut, you're gonna really enjoy this beach. You can also play baseball over here. You can play golf in that area. And then you can also play soccer on this area of the field. If you like to be active, this beach is gonna work for you. So here we have an airport. Um, these are not the biggest airplanes in the world, but if you, you can probably come here and if you pay, you can probably get a ride around Stratford and really enjoy that. So the company is Atlantic, which is over there. And a lot of people don't realize that they have this in Stratford, but there's actually also a plane museum in Stratford, Connecticut. A lot of people don't know about that either. I know about it because I like history. So this is the Booth Memorial Park and Museum in Stratford, Connecticut. As you can see, we have beautiful structures and I just love this. I mean, look at this, it's beautiful. They got the wooded shingles, which is, you know, the old siding the houses used to have. Nowadays, we have plastic siding. So is this like a museum or something? Yeah, it's a museum. I mean, look, it's just really nice. It's a really good environment. This looks like it would be haunted. I promise you it's not because I've been here at night and it's not haunted. So down there we have a park where you can run and you can walk your dog and you can have a really good time. And we even have a bench. So let's sit down and talk a little bit more about the Booth Memorial. So if you're a Stratford resident or you're thinking of moving into Stratford, here in the Booth Memorial is a great environment because as you can tell it's you know very relaxed, very quiet. There's not really a lot of people. Um, Every now and then you'll see people pass by, but if you like nature and you like a calm area, this is it. And this park is open 24-7. So if you want to come here at 1 a.m. in the morning, you can. So this is where you can work out. I mean, I, I'm not going to start running right now because, you know, I'm dressed up. But if I wasn't, I would probably be running up and down to get a good workout in. We're in our second spot here in Stratford, and this is kind of a hidden gem. Not a lot of people know about this park and it's only for Stratford residents only. If you like mountain biking, there's a couple trails. You can take this one, you can take that one, and you can also take another trail back here. The beautiful thing about this park is that it's for residents only. So if you live here and you pay taxes in Stratford, this is open to you. So right now we are driving in the heart of Stratford, Connecticut. So we're about to pass through the plaza of Stratford, Connecticut. You got a bunch of restaurants, you have a few stores and it's just a really nice space to go in an afternoon eat and go back home so as you can see the houses here are very nice you have a deli right there and if you care about schools Stratford has very good schools so it's definitely an area where you can come and then your kids are going to be getting a very good education there's a liquor store right there and then you have a Chinese food they actually also have a Chinese food down the road from here and actually go and eat there every once in a while. So we also have a 7-Eleven right there. We have a bank on this side, and this is downtown. You know, very it's, it's kind of a high traffic area, and a lot of people come here and just enjoy a nice afternoon. And something that makes it even better is you have a nice little park here, so you can come with your family, walk around there. We have the we have transportation here. We have the train station that goes all the way to New York. Um, here's a train station and then we have a small plaza here with a bunch of restaurants and commercial businesses and everything so now we're going into the into the close to the beach of Stratford Connecticut and a lot of these houses over here require a flood zone so that's why it's so important for you to work with a local agent that knows the area because a lot of these homes are gonna require flood insurance and you don't want to find that out when you're about to close on your property because flood insurance can cost you twice as much as normal insurance. So if you're gonna if you're gonna buy a house in a flood area, you want to know that beforehand. And a lot of people I heard are surprised at closing when the attorneys tell them, "Hey, your house is in a flood zone, and you're gonna need to pay extra in insurance." And when I say extra, it's a lot extra. But look at that. Oh, I I, I just I don't know why I love old archi architect. Well. I love old architecture. I don't know why, but I love it. 
I mean, maybe because everything now is all cookie cutter. You have a house, all new construction is so cookie cutter. It's like 1,500 square feet. It looks all the same. Nothing has character to it. But he, here, in the, um, you can see some of the houses that have character, like this one. This is a very old house. Like, that has character. It's, it's unique, it's different. So this is the beach area, and there's like a small town in Stratford, Connecticut. Well, not a town, but it's part of Stratford, Connecticut, but it's separated, and they call it Lordship. And we're about to get to that area. It's very quiet in Lordship. I know people that own properties here, they don't like it because it's so quiet. We're gonna go straight to Lordship. So here we have uh, Shore Beach on this side. And if you wanna play soccer, you wanna go to the beach, that's definitely an area where you can just go. That's why all the cars are going down there. That's one of the main beaches. You got a playground, you got everything to have a good time there. You have a funeral right here. But let me show you guys Lordship. And houses here are also a little bit more expensive because you're paying for that area. So here we have the beach. And we have a lot of residential, and then right at the end, we have restaurants. And it gets busy here on the weekend. There's a lot of people that come out, they eat here. Um, it's busy, it's really busy on the weekends. Also in the late afternoons when people get out of work, a lot of people like to come here, you know, they get a drink. Even right now, I mean, there's people eating. And you have the sea. And there's people in the park. Yeah, I mean, even right now, yes, you can look. Like I said, there's a lot of older people here. A lot of older people. There are some young people, but this is such a quiet place, so it really attracts older people. If you like quietness, this is the spot for you. So that's the beach. All How the much way are down. you looking for for a house here? I mean, you gotta, you're gonna need to pay 450. I mean, I would say 400 and up is a decent budget for here. Low ship. But how it depends on what you want because if you want a really nice house, houses here go all the can go to a million dollars. Especially these front, I think they were, they were gonna they were selling the one back there for like 1.5, 1.3 million. Did it sell? I think it did. That's gonna be it for the video. I hope you guys got a better idea of what it's like to live in Stratford, Connecticut. And any questions that you guys may have, please feel free to reach out. There's more that Stratford has to offer. But I'll, I, I, I just outlined some of the best things of Stratford. Thank you and see you guys on the next one.